I'm Aileen Abrams, Associate Counsel for the New York State School Boards Association. Today's mailbag question is, is my school board required to keep and publicize minutes of school board meetings? The answer to both of these questions is yes. The Open Meetings Law, which is applicable to school districts, requires that formal minutes of all actions must be taken at school board meetings. They must consist of a record or summary of all motions, proposals, resolutions, and other matters formally voted on. In addition, the record of votes must include the final vote of each board member on every matter voted on. Board members and district clerks should be mindful that the law sets forth the minimum necessary contents of meeting minutes. However, the district's policies could establish additional requirements for recording of minutes, which the board would need to follow, such as recording the names, addresses, and content of the statements made by members of the public who participate in public comment periods. Also, to the extent that a board must take action in an executive session to vote on Education Law Section 3028 charges against a tenured employee, the minutes of the executive session need only contain a record of any final determinations, the date, and the vote. The Open Meetings Law also requires that the minutes of board meetings be made available to the public within two weeks of the date of the meeting where they were taken. It's worth noting there is no legal requirement that school boards formally approve or adopt meeting minutes before they are publicized, so school boards should not withhold minutes on that basis. District policy may require such action, however. Therefore, to remain compliant with the law, the district clerk can mark the minutes as being in draft form and make them available within the statute's timeframes. Remember, get your questions answered by emailing to mailbag at nisba.org. Thanks and have a great day.